Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel, Dr. Shahan's class. This is a medical channel where I make videos on different medical topics which are very very important for NEET PG, FMG and next examination. So if you are uh, preparing for any of these examination, please subscribe this channel. Today in this video, I will discuss about charcot Marie tooth syndrome so what is this charcot Marie tooth syndrome basically first you look into the picture how the distal muscle wasting has took place this is charcot Marie tooth syndrome now let us learn what is charcot Marie tooth syndrome charcot Marie tooth disease is a group of inherited disease which is actually causing nerve damage and this damage mostly occurs in the arms and in the legs the peripheral nerves of the arms and legs are actually damaged so what are the signs and symptoms of this disease number one is weakness in the legs and hands and you will have a very high arch foot you can see the high arch foot in the left side clawed hands i will show you pictures of clawing of hands and thin calves due to muscular atrophy you can see muscle atrophy in this disease numbness of the feet and legs the legs become numb and you will find a kind of gait in this patient that is known as foot slapping gait remember foot slapping someone is slapping the foot that is why it is known as foot slapping gait foot slapping gait and sometimes you can also find out foot drop you will find out foot drop you generally you know what is foot drop this is due to common peroneal nerve damage you know already so all these signs and symptoms you will find in charcot Marie tooth disease now why all these are occurring because of peripheral nerve damage you can see this one this is showing you the high arching of the foot you can see high arch foot high arch foot and you can see clawing of the toes the toes has become claw like so it is claw toes and you can also find out heel curving the heels has become curved and in which direction inward you can see inward direction of the heel so inward heel curving that is generally known as varus look at this picture can you see the leg of this girl the leg of this girl is just like stork and that is known as stork leg this kind of leg is known as stork leg now what are the other symptoms which we can also find that is peripheral nerve weakness so in the legs there will be weakness these patients will be having weakness and a special kind of gait i told you already whenever this person will be walking there will there will be a gait and that is known as feet slapping gait someone is slapping the feet that is known as feet slapping gait remember feet slapping gait let me tell you about the symptoms already i have discussed weakness in your legs and always remember this weakness is because the peripheral nerve damage peripheral nerve damage sometimes the common peroneal nerve are also damaged and that is why you can get foot drop you can get foot drop now you can also get high arch foot i already told you high arch there will be the arching of the foot will be very high generally we have a arching in our foot but that arching in our foot becomes very high and that is why it is known as high arching foot high arch foot and there will be 
carved and curling of the toes that is known as clawing of toes now why these all these things are occurring what is the cause basically it is due to genetic mutation there is a inherited genetic defect and that leads to this condition always remember this is due to a inherited genetic condition and this affect the peripheral nerves in your feet in your legs in your hands so whenever they show you the stork like feet and they tell you a case where there is weakness in the legs there is a particular gait present then you can understand this is nothing but charcot mary now you can see this one this claw this clawing of hand sometimes clawing of the toes also occurs in this disease so remember clawing of hand clawing of toes occurs in this charcot mary tooth disease now why this charcot mary tooth disease has clawing basically this is occurring also because of the peripheral nerve damage remember peripheral nerve damage made the clawing look at this picture this picture is also showing another patient with charcot mary tooth disease you can see the left side picture the clawing of the hands on the right side you can see high arch foot high arch foot how the arching has been increased in this patient with time so you can remember these things high arch foot now sometimes people miss this particular condition that is a particular dentistry particular dental condition a specific kind of teeth that can be found in these patients also don't forget you can remember this picture sometimes these patient also go to the dentist because they have a particular kind of teeth this is the last picture you can see this is the combination picture where you can see number a the left side top picture the stork like leg you can see stork like leg how the leg has uh, leg in the thigh portion is thicker but it has turned thinner as it approach the ankle so uh, at the ankle it it becomes thinner so you can see this is stork like leg and high arched foot the arching foot arching of the foot is very important and you can see the hands are shown these hands are showing the clawing of the disease the clawing of the fingers the clawing of the toes can also be there so if this picture is shown you can easily identify this is nothing but charcot mary tooth disease so this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please write down in the comment section below if you love our channel please write down in the comment section because that motivates me to make many many videos on medical topics and this channel is dedicated for helping all the mbbs students so if you are a first year student second year third year fourth year whichever year you are please subscribe this channel if you are a fmg please subscribe this channel because this channel will prepare you for the next examination which you will be going to face in the subsequent years and if you are a fmg this channel will help you to prepare for fmge examination and if you are a neat pg aspirant also please subscribe because these diseases are always asked in neat pg